In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the library feature of GraphPad, and I'm going to start with some geometry that represents sidewalk um, pieces for the city of New York. Now, I'm going to zoom in, and it's very important that I actually create a selection area that's going to represent the size that I want to have displayed inside my um, library. So I'm going to use this same selection area to capture my geometry and I'm just going to reposition it over this square and I'll just hit the copy group and then create object and that's going to take that image and put it into the um, my objects library and we see the, the the size and everything now I can reposition that same selection area over a next piece of geometry and do copy group and we'll notice that those two images look very compatible. Likewise, we can go over the last piece of my geometry, create object, and now they all look like they're the same size and everything. Now the selection area um, will automatically go if we go into pan zoom. So if we had all of our geometry laid out and we wanted to just zoom out, just continue to move the selection area, if we hit pan and zoom to move our screen, the selection area is going to disappear. So the trick is, is to go to another page, go into pan and zoom, and then come back. And now we're in pan and zoom, and so we can actually reposition everything just by moving the, the object into the selection area and hitting, and we'll just take an example here, and then hitting the create object. And we'll see we create all our objects all consistently. Once we've created our objects, we can go into the my objects um, library feature, and by hitting the I accessory button, we open up the library so we can actually see the images, and now we can reposition them. So, for example, we can take one entity and move it into a new location, um, or we could delete an entity. Um, if we select a row, we can now edit its properties. And say, for example, we want to change this to a two foot by four foot um, piece of grass, we would just type that in. Now when we actually drop that into, um, we'll hit save, now when we drop that into our drawing, it's going to take that and apply it to any um, legends or summary tables that we have. So we'll go to the next item, we'll change that to a four foot concrete section. Hit save. And what we'll do is we'll use the legend that we have in our tables and we'll drop that in our drawing. And now if we go back to our my objects and select that four foot object, we'll notice it adds the geometry, but also adds it to our legend. 